Hello, we're just going to spend a couple of minutes looking at how you make your own layer and how you edit that layer to add another set of features. So the first thing you do is you actually want to create a layer um, and when you create a layer we're going to create a shape file layer. So we click that and here we go we're just going to leave it with the uh, CRS that we expect from the other files. Let's uh, it's going to be a polygon layer in this case. Um, we're going to... Uh, this is where you can add some fields to the layer. Um, for the moment we'll just leave them blank. We won't add any fields. It already has a preset ID number. We go OK and then it'll ask us what we want to save that file as and we're just going to put it in uh, we'll make a new folder, I think, is probably the best thing to do. There we go. We'll make it in new layer 1 and we'll call it uh, uh, Health Districts. Very good. So you can now see the layer has appeared here. OK, so let's now add a layer to that. The way we do that is to select the layer, turn on the edit, toggle turn, and then we go edit, add feature. And here we go, I'm just going to draw a feature on. Now obviously, at this magnification you're going to make some errors, but you can always fix those errors up. Later on, we just estimate this feature and we're just going to uh, not worry too much about the coastline here, we'll just have that for out there. We right click to finish the feature and we give it an ID number, we'll call it number one. Okay, and there we have our first feature. Now clearly we want to edit this to make this very precise now, so we just up the magnification in the areas we know we'll probably have some problems with. You can see here we're not exactly on the roadways as we move down here. So what we'll do, the first thing we'll do is we'll add some transparency to this layer so we can see the roads below. Just make it about 50%. There we go. And there you go, you can see better now. And then we can edit the points on this. which uh, which we just go, uh, sorry, edit. Uh, the nodal tool, here it is, so nodal tool, and then what you can do is pull these nodes into place just to get them spot on. There we go, like that. And here, for example, you can see we need another node, so if you just click in the middle of the point here, uh, sorry, double click in the middle of the point here, you'll get an extra node and you can pull that back onto the right place. I'm going to put an extra node here as well, double click that just to get that on the roadway. Move that one back there, that's good. This one's a little high, we want it along that roadway there. We'll just now move and sort this out here. We'll um, Edit those nodes again. Oops, those up here is edit nodes. Nodal tool. We'll just shift this one because this feature is supposed to align with that road there. There we are. Let's fix that area. We then just uh, slide down here and check. Uh, this one's a bit wonky here. Same again. Edit the node. Take that node. Pull it back onto the road. Uh, we're going to put one in the middle here pull that out onto the road, that's on the road surface there, perfect. We move down the, down the roadway, that was all good through there, looking good down this road, oh, going a bit off course here, you can see it, this one's a wee bit off, so we'll just go edit that again. Edit node, there we are. 
There must be an automatic nodal tool in this set here, we'll have a look in a minute. But let's just pick this node up first, move that back onto the roadway, like that. Move along here, and just check that this, oh no, this has gone off the road a little too, see that there? So we just edit node again, bring that, bring that back onto there. There we are. So let's just go down in mag. That looks good now. So you now have a shape on that uh, on there. Shall we add another one? Let's do another one while we're there. We'll just go down in magnification a little, go up over here so we can have a look. The next one starts about uh, let's just work out where this one is. I think it's this one here that goes out across here. I'm just working out from the hand-drawn map I have in front of me where the next uh, uh, of these what we call health areas are. Um, so I'm just going to draw this one in now. I think what we'll do is we'll just add a feature again, edit, add a feature, and by my reckoning it runs from there across to there. We've gone a little high there, but we'll fix that up. I think it runs to there, like that. And th then I think it runs from there up to this road intersect here, along that road there, I think. Along that road there, does a little jigger up to that road there, and then follows this road right across to here. Oops, we'll just get it back on the curve there. Right across to this point here, I think. Yes, goes down to that corner there, up to that little piece there, down to there like that, and I think it does a little curve in there like that, to be done. We just right click that now, there we go, we'll call that number 2, and same process again, we'll just go into editing mode now. Edit node tool. Uh, first thing I'll do is just up. Uh, oops, and as you go up in mag, we'll fix this one first. Pull it out onto the road. Now, what did we decide? It actually sits on this road here, so we have to go down a wee bit there. We'll pick this one up and pull that down to that road point there. You'll notice that these actually automatically touch themselves together, which is nice. So you end up with no gaps because the tool automatically sorts that out. Um, same again, we'll just go in here now and have a look. It's gone a wee bit off the road, so we're just going to double click a point on there, pull it out onto the road. Perfect. Up to here, let's have a look. This is a little bit off on the road, so we pick it up, pull it back onto the road. We'll just go down in mag and then go up over here. There we go. So I'll just get this back on that road point. There it is there. Pretty sure that's where it is. And then it runs down this little road here, so we'll just double click that to grab it, pull it back onto the roadway there. Perfect. We'll go down in mag again. And go up over here. This one we'll just straighten up and get on the road. There we go down in mag, up over here, pull that one back up to the intersect, like, like so, good, down in mag, get that one back on the roadway, whoops, no, see we've missed the road there, we'll just get that back on point there, like that, very good. Down in mag, up in mag again, oops, get that back on the point. I 
think this one actually probably sits on that right way there, it would be my guess. And then we'll get that one back on its point. Like that, there we go. So now we'll just fix this little bit, it's sort of gone quite way off the road here, so we'll just double click here to get a point, and then move that point onto the road. And I think we're looking good now, let's just go down and check down here. Oh, we've gone a little bit off the road there, so we'll just sort that out. Back up here so we can have a look. What has happened here? Here it is here. Yes, we've just, and you see we've got a little gap here as well, so let's fix all of this up. We'll just pull that onto the roadway, the intersect point there, like that. And then we'll um, take a bit of this, pull it onto here. I'll just move that one over a little. it should just, it will grab the adjacent, uh, you notice that it actually grabbed, I'll go up in mag and you'll see, oh it didn't perfectly grab did it? So we're just going to close this up. In fact I probably haven't got the grab settings exactly right, that it's not grabbing the edge of the adjacent one, but we'll just um, get it reasonably close here. Very good. So we now have done, I'll just turn all these other surfaces off so we can have a look. You can see what we have now achieved is we now have two shapes that we've uh, drawn ourselves. So let's just save that now. So we save layer edits like that and then we turn off the edit tool and we should have the shapes there, we save our uh, uh, save our um, project and let's just pop some of these back on, pop the roadways back on underneath and we'll prop, we have a little bit of a map, no it's not going to show, it's not in the right area and we'll just pop the admin boundaries on and we can see that we've now got uh, two of those health districts done Thank you.